they'd have to at least be open to considering a trade for Jimmy. Not right now. I mean, I mean, you're asking the question, and you want your answer, and you're not going to goddamn get it. <laughs> your answer. I, I appreciate the question, you know, but that 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 one is that uh, you know, as Spo said the other day, I concur with everything that Spo said because he and I had discussed this. Is that there's a possibility that a lot of things are on the table, you know, from that standpoint. And it's not necessarily getting another star, you know. You get another star and then your bench gets weaker, probably. And you do have some financial responsibilities to, you know, the tax on the first apron, the second apron, and all the consequences of, it, of going there. And so that's why I say there might be two or three critical players maybe in this league if they ever became available and we had an opportunity, then I, there's there's no doubt that we would go for it, shoot the moon, you know, that's what it is. It's always been that way. But, you know, there were eight teams in the tax uh, this year. Six of them are home. Okay. And who's in Boston and somebody else is playing. Denver. Yeah. So going into the tax, and going way into the tax to win a championship, you better be damn right about the guy you're going to get, what you're going to give up for him. And so uh, it didn't happen even with the big three until we solidified the bench the next year. Yes. Pat, beyond, beyond the availability question, as Jimmy ages, and he's going to be 35 years old uh, this year, I know players take better care of themselves these days, but we're talking about mid-30s into late-30s. Are you confident that he can still be a 1A type player to lead this team to a championship, provided that he's healthy in the playoffs, if yes. you put the right pieces around yes. him? I think he has that ability, but it's like, you know, it's like anybody else. You might have to make some changes in, in your, your overall routine, your approach to the game, you know, whatever it is. It's, uh, you know, and it's the same thing with me and Spo. I mean, Spo has to take a deep dive into the offense and the defense. We're 21st ranked in, in offense and fifth ranked in defense. Sometimes you don't think you are. But it's not the overall ranking in the league or position. It's all those elements that you measure, the metrics inside of your offense or defense. Where do you rank in closeouts? You know, where do you rank in contests? Where do you rank in blockouts? Where do you rank in loose balls and charges? All of those things. There's four or five critical areas that you want, you, you want to win every night, even though you might not win the transition game. But there's four or five real areas that you want to win every single night, and you might be ranking, you know, 17th in one of those areas and rank fifth in overall defense. And so, you really that's taking a deep dive in, into what you're doing, and that's important. 